Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about EKL latest product, which spells really good news for water cooling enthusiasts. This is a full metal housing for DDC pumps, which is a very popular choice for people who are building uh, compact cases with very little space, so D5 has became a little bit the problem to use. And, but unfortunately, between D5 and DDC, reliability numbers a little bit different. D5 almost never failed. I maybe have like one pump per few thousand sold, which is basically 0, 0, 0, 0 percentage, while DDC continue to burn on a regular basis and maybe running about 2% of total um, number of pumps sold within two year period of time. Well, if you think it's a lot, it's not true because some Chinese pumps failing at rate of 15, 60 damn percent a year, which we don't even want to stock and touch anymore. So 2% is very low, but comparing with virtually zero D5 is a little bit high. I personally attribute the failure of DDC that it's very compact, very powerful pump sitting very little housing so it's actually tend to overheat and um, burn eventually in certain conditions of course um, i'd like to show you a couple examples actually so uh, the pump burnt ddc pumps looks pretty much the same it doesn't matter if it's a user fault or or actual pump failure i'll just show you there's a two pumps right there if you if you can see the bowls has a burning marks but one of those pumps is actually user fault because it was a bad assembly and water get in and pump just gets short cut it. And another pump is an actual failure of the pump because of overheating. So to show you difference, you can tell what's happened by looking inside of PCB. So let me show you. So you see this pump is burnt but you also see all these white marks, which is basically oxidation from the liquid. So the whole thing get corroded, but also it's burnt out. If you look on the uh, other one, as it smells really bad. Uh, <clears throat> so you see it's absolutely clean PCB board, but it definitely burn out because it's overheat. Well, partially uh, problem with the pump attributed by things like anti-vibration pads supplied, for example, by Swiftec, which is basically a piece of foam that attaches to the bottom of the pump and make pump cook itself, literally. Uh, so it's not a very good idea, but um, I guess it's stuff supplied for years and, uh, and definitely contribute to failure of the pumps. But overall, heat dissipation of the DDC is a little bit problem. So what's happened with, with the EK release is they decide to replace entire housing of the pump, which is normally is uh, plastic. And uh, that will be now aluminum housing coming in a silver and black, depends what you want to do. And um, it also has a heat sink on the bottom. Well, I, I insert a picture so you can, can understand what I'm talking about, because unfortunately I can't show you the thing. I definitely will stock it, but later, right? So now, now we have a two things that I would like to stress out why it's a good news. First of all, the pump itself will be run cooler and assuming they have at least some airflow going around the heat sink, it will be cooled well. But another benefit of, the, of those DDC pump running cooler, they will start dumping less heat in your uh, water loop. So just by adding this device, which is MRSP is like 25 bucks, it's not that much. You effectively can only not only make your pump less chance to fail you and run longer, but I guarantee you that you probably will drop your temperatures by one or two degrees just by providing proper cooling for, for your DDC pump. So it's pretty good. Uh, we haven't had uh, anything that spells good performance increase and reliability increase uh, for quite a while. There's a lot of stuff get released all the time, but it's not always spells uh, good news for enthusiasts. This one is pretty cool. The only other product we had like this was a coolant heat sink, but for whatever reason, never catch up, uh, probably because the price was a little bit up. So, so the EK priced it very aggressively. I'm pretty sure it will be popular. In my opinion, 
It must have item if you are running DDC pump, unless it's a very slow version like a 3.1 or in Europe they call the um, 1T. So if you 325T plus or power management pump, which is spin much faster, I'm strongly recommend you to get one. This way or other, doesn't matter if it's from Dazmod store or not. Um, so guys, that's what I wanted to talk about and um, well, if new products will come up, will happy to show you. Right now I'd like to work a little bit with my Mocker build. See you soon.